Your thoughts determine your success. And if you can't hear your thoughts, you'll never be successful. And we are live. Welcome back to the Rosabeth Moon Motivation Podcast. My name is Michaela Rosabeth. Welcome to episode five of the podcast. How's everyone doing? We're having a really good day. Today, I am going to talk about how I learned the lesson that if you don't listen to your thoughts, then you won't be successful. Even better, I'm going to tell the story about how I did figure out what my thoughts were and how I became successful and how you can too. So buckle up for today's episode. Today, we're going to talk about something super interesting. I was scrolling on social media and I saw that somebody's Roman Empire. Do you remember that trend, right? What's your Roman Empire? What do you think about every day? This one girl's Roman Empire was that only 10 to 15% of people are actually self aware. (laughs) That means, here's what it means. 85 to 90% of people have absolutely no idea what their likes are, what their dislikes are, what activities that they want, what achievements they want, what they want to avoid for the rest of their life. What is going on with the thoughts in your head? That means that an incredibly, incredibly large amount of the population has no idea. And I was one of this percentage before I realized what my thoughts were. The story behind it is I got diagnosed with anxiety disorder and I was in therapy one day and my therapist was like, Michaela, what do you think about? (laughs) Well, when you ask an anxious person what they think about and they've never tuned into their full thoughts before, Well, all I can say is that as soon as I tuned into my thoughts and started realizing that my brain was saying that everything sucks and that life is horrible and I'm horrible and I can never be what I want to be and I can never do what I want to do, I I went into a full-blown panic. I went into a panic. I said, I'm horrible. I want to die. I I panicked and said, the whole world is going to die. I don't like anything, nobody likes me, and went into this huge long spiral. And so one of the activities that my therapist had me do was a self-awareness activity. It was simply, don't focus on the negative, don't focus on the positive, just write down neutrally self-aware things. And these things are, what achievements do I want? What do I enjoy doing? Do I enjoy anything? Do I dislike anything? Do I want to become something? Just start super, super simply identifying what you want. And so at that time, right, I'm in a panic. The only thing that my brain can come up with is I want to achieve getting over this anxiety disorder. I want to become successful. I want to be something. I hate the situation and I want to be out of it. As soon as I started identifying these things, I began trailing back to the trail of why, which we talked about in yesterday's episode. Long story short, when you see a trauma and a trauma thought, right? So let's take this for instance, I hate my life. Why? Ask it why. And not in a judgmental way, but in a curiosity way. Why do I hate my life? Well, at that time, I hated my life because I hated college and I hated my degree and I hated my relationship and I hated everything in the entire world. I hated it all. Okay, well, why? So then I started becoming, guess what? Self-aware. I started becoming aware of why I hated my relationship, why I hated my college, why I hated my degree, why I hated my life. I started then trailing more back and more back and more back to finding solutions okay now my thoughts that i'm hearing are focusing on solutions 
and are now aware of how I feel instead of consistently going on repeat in a panicked state about how horrible everything is. And this completely 180 changed my entire life. As soon as I started becoming aware and identifying the things that I want in life, the things that I dislike, my values, my beliefs, who I am, all of this amazing stuff and became more aware of myself, everything started falling into place. I started using this practice every single day and I have been for the last five, six years. I have started realizing and being aware of who I am and my daily thoughts. Once I became aware that, oh, actually, I have an enjoyment in plants. I enjoy beauty and I enjoy skincare and I enjoy medicine and I enjoy making things with my hands. You know what developed? I became a successful CEO of Moon Magic Botanicals, my natural skincare company that consistently sells out. Then I was like, okay, I know that I like creating and I like content and I like watching YouTube and I love Instagram and I love creating stuff. Okay, well, you know what that led to? Me finally conquering my fear of being in public and releasing a podcast to help people, which is another thing that I love. As I became self-aware, things started falling more into place. And then my success arose because I realized what I want to do what I love doing, what I hate doing, and I worked on it. And so I have created an article post on my blog called Powerful Ways to Recover and Release Trauma. There's a whole bunch of ideas on there that I did and I went through that can help you as well. On top of that, other activities that you can do in order to become self-aware is ask you the same questions. Sit down for a minute. If you don't like journaling, that's fine. Ask yourself out loud. Who cares if you're talking to yourself? I'm talking to myself and I'm talking to you at the same time. I'm figuring stuff out at the same time. Ask yourself, why? What's my thoughts going on? What is going on in my brain today? Am I worried? Am I happy? Am I sad? Am I glad? Am I mad? Rhyming all the way, right? What is going on? And I promise you, as soon as you begin to identify your thoughts, and then circle that with following the trail of why from yesterday's episode, and then circle all of that to becoming self-aware, I promise you, you will become successful. There is no doubt in my brain, and you know why? Because it worked for me. And I'm here to help you. I'm here to help you every weekday on Rosabeth Moon Motivation Podcast on Spotify and YouTube. Also, if you want to see more behind the scenes, follow me on TikTok at Rosabeth Moon Motivation. And if you want to see my CEO vibe, my energy, please follow me on Instagram where I share a whole bunch of success tips and a whole bunch of really great content. I want to know what your thoughts are on this video and on a day-to-day basis. Leave a comment. Let me know. I want to know if your thoughts are like my thoughts or like other people's thoughts because the more that we talk about this, the more that people are going to be able to understand that they can not only help themselves, but become successful. My name again is Michaela Rosabeth. Please, please like, follow, and subscribe and turn on those notifications. Follow me for more. Go to rosebethmoon.com. Three O's and I just like the podcast to find some more self-help resources. And again, if you want to know an article that's specifically attached to this video, it is called Powerful Ways to Recover and Release Trauma. I hope everybody has a wonderful day. Bye!